Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this new tutorial, we are going to talk about a new sensor and it is called AR sensor or obstacle avoiding sensor because we can use it to detect objects. In this video, we're going to hook it up to the Arduino. Then we will check if we have an object in front of it. In such case, we can turn on this buzzer. So before we get started, consider subscribing to our channel. That helps me a lot. And let's jump right into it. So in this tutorial, you will need this AR sensor, or it's called IR obstacle avoiding sensor. Basically, it consists of two diodes. We have the transmitter and the receiver. This transmitter emits an infrared light and once it gets reflected by an object, the receiver will read that voltage or that IR light. Then it outputs a voltage from this output pin. As you can see, we have three pins. The VCC goes to the VCC. The GND goes to the GND of the Arduino. Then we can read the output value from this sensor. Basically, when we have an object in front of it, it outputs low or zero volts. And if there is no object in front of it, it will output high or five volts from this pin. I'm going to connect it to one of the digital pins like number two. Then we could use the digital read command to read the voltage and get the value that will change depending on whether we have an object in front of it. Also, we have this potentiometer, which allows you to change the range of this sensor which is between 2 and 30 centimeters. So let's hook it up to the Arduino and let's connect the VCC to the 5 volt pin. The middle leg is the GND, which I'm going to connect to the GND of the Arduino. And finally, we can read the output value from the output pin using the digital pin number 2. Of course, you could use any of the digital pins. And in this lesson, we're going to check if there is an object in front of it. We're going to turn this LED on. Then you could replace it with the buzzer. So this is called an active buzzer, which we can use to make some kind of warning whenever we have an object in front of the sensor. First, let's use this LED. I'm going to hook it up to the digital pin number 8. We're going to add this ohm resistor. It is a 220 ohms so that we can protect it. First, I'm going to go from the pin number 8 to one of the points on the breadboard. Then we need to add the ohm resistor. And the other leg, we're going to hook it up to the longer leg of the LED, which is the anode terminal or the positive terminal of the LED. And the shorter leg of the LED goes to the GND pin. I'm going to use this one. And that's pretty much it. Let's move on to the Arduino IDE. First, I'm going to add few variables using int. I'm going to call the first one AR pin, which is number two. And we need another pin to control the LED. Let's call it LED pin equals eight. And under the setup function, we're going to add pin mode. We need to use the AR pin as an input to read the voltage by entering the IR pin, then the input keyword. And on the other hand, we will use the LED pin as an output so that we can turn it on and off using the digital write command. Here I forgot the equal sign. Then under the loop function, let's add an if statement. So if we read a voltage equals zero or low, that means that we have an object in front of the sensor. In this case, we will turn the LED on. Using digital read, we give it the AR pin. If it's zero, in such case, let's use digital write, LED pin, then the high keyword to turn it on. Otherwise, using else, 
we're gonna turn it off using the same command digital right the first parameter is the LED pin then low before you upload the code you need to check for the board so you need to go to tools I'm using an Arduino Uno make sure to select the right board that you are using then the port of the USB cable for me it's this one and let's hit upload first we have the LED off and if I put my hand as you can see it turns on you could also modify the range by rotating this potentiometer also we have another LED that turns on whenever we have an object and turns off if we get rid of it and you could easily change the LED with an active buzzer we've already used the digital right high or low to turn it on and off first I'm gonna remove the ohm resistor we don't need it and the LED so this is the positive terminal I'm gonna put it on the other side and this is the ground we have the longer leg I'm gonna hook it up to digital pin number 8 and the other one goes to the GND and yeah it's working so this is a smart blink stick project we can check if we have objects in front of it I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or comment make sure to put it under the comment section down below and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon that helps me a lot and I will see you in the next one